Hello, everybody. Um, I have posted a worksheet. There's actually two pages to it. So this is the video on the first page. And I want to go over with you uh, this diagram, which is of a front where there are two air masses meeting. And we're going to answer some of the questions and look at what we're actually seeing in this diagram. So let me make this a little bit larger. So first thing, um, I see this wedge-shaped, and I'm going to outline the wedge, wedge-shaped front, which is a continental polar air mass pushing against this maritime tropical air mass. And the continental polar air mass, we know it's dry, which is low humidity. We know it's uh, cold, which is polar. So we know that it has a higher air pressure. The maritime tropical is warm and humid. And so the air pressure here must be low. So there's a difference in air pressure between the two masses, air masses. Now, when the cold air mass hits the back of a warm air mass, this warm air is going to be less dense, and so it will be forced to rise. When air rises, you know we get clouds, and that's what that diagram is showing you. So there are tall clouds, heavy rain coming down right here on the front. What kind of rain is associated with a cold front? Um, is uh, heavy, could be thunderstorms, uh, tornadoes. If you have a tornado or a thunderstorm, a cold front is passing. So let's just answer some of the questions and see how the changes in air masses are affecting somebody at Station E. So Station E, I'm going to draw a little person here. This person is at City E. And right now, he's in warm air. It's 19 degrees Celsius. That's about 65. Um, if we look behind the cold front, we could see it says 8 or 10 degrees Celsius. So that's much colder, probably 20 degrees less. So question number one asks, how will the cloud cover change at Station E as the front approaches? And how will it change after the front passes? So here I am at station E. Right now, I'm in pretty clear skies. So, and then I can see this mass of cloud approaching me as the front is coming towards me. But then behind it, in the cooler continental polar air, it's high pressure. So it's going to be clear skies again. So how will the cloud cover change as the front approaches? So my cloud cover, cloud cover will increase as it approaches and then decrease um, in the continental polar air. That's the first thing that's going to happen. Let's try question two. So question two says, what barometric pressure change will occur as the front passes station E? So right now we can see that uh, at station E, it's this person is in low pressure. And when that front moves over him, he's going to be in the high pressure of that continental uh, polar air mass. So the barometric pressure uh, will increase. So we're gonna just say pressure will increase. Will the temperature increase or decrease at station E after the front passes? So he's in um, a pick a different color he's in a warm temperature now and the temperature is certainly going to get lower uh, in this polar air mass so the temperature will decrease 
and describe how the motion of air masses causes clouds to form along the front. So what motion is causing this cloud to form? So basically, it's our first step in cloud formation. The warm air is forced to rise. So we can th see how things will change when one air mass is pushing out another air mass. And uh, just to draw one in comparison on the side, I just want to add in here a little box because we know this is a cold front. I just want to make sure you see what a warm front looks like. And a warm front is going to be um, a wedge that looks like this. It's not as steep a slope as that cold front. This cold front is a really steep slope right here that causes that warm air to rise very high. Here, the warm air is maritime tropical, continental polar. This warm air is less dense than the continental polar. So even though the air masses are moving in this direction, the warm air cannot get under the cold air and so it's forced to rise kind of pushing it out slowly and so as that air rises you're going to get clouds and you're going to get light rain ahead of the warm front so this is light rain all day like it's a long lasting not necessarily all day but a long lasting rainy day where if it's a cold front, it's heavy rain. Um, but very short term or brief, right? It doesn't last, oops, wrong spelling. You know me with my spelling. It doesn't last all day. Okay, so that is the difference between um, the two main types of fronts, and as you'll see on the next page, uh, when they occur around the low, and they only occur around low pressure systems because the air is being pulled in, and so your air masses are meeting there. High pressure, there are never fronts. It's just clear skies. All right, so... Enjoy the next video, too, about the second page and um, fill these out. I'm going to put it in as an assignment so I can see that you guys have filled them out. And we will do this again. All right. Talk to you soon. Hope all is well. Stay safe.